my name's Dan Arps, and um, we're, we're here in my studio. Um, this, is where I, uh, this is where I do my work at the moment. Um, one of the places, I guess. Um, and uh, this is it. This is a studio at Elam. I'm a doctoral candidate. So I'm kind of here for, for another couple of years. Um, part, of, part of my practice is um, uh, that you know, everything kind of, like everything that's in the studio is kind of up for grabs again. So everything, everything's raw material. Um, there's no, um, nothing's really in the artwork until it, until it leaves in the work proper is um, made, made on site, always. Uh, explaining things is a project that sort of um, uh, based around, um, just based around a diagram really, based around a kind of a, um, a sense that you can draw a diagram of something and it can explain something. So. Uh, in a sense, the show was about um, like trying to break break that down, or trying to like figure out how one one object might explain the existence of another object, how that, how that logic might be set up in a kind of a diagrammatic a diagrammatic form. Uh, you know, and there are. There are definitely, definitely kind of patterns, and I try and work, work in ways where there are like patterns and formulas and uh, like memes and tropes that that are continuous through the through the work, or like there's a logic through the work. Explaining things, I, I went out of my way. Really, um, I really wanted to do a show that just uh, um, alienated as many people as possible. Um, so there's all sorts of things in the show that are kind of uncomfortable or um, not very nice, but also at the same time uh, try, trying to like imbue things with a sense of like uh, that it might be profound or something. So you kind of like stick around waiting for this profound thing, but it's just alienating you the whole time. There are, there are quite a few elements in this show that are actually, literally just things I found on the street. It's kind of part of what I do. Um, and they're beautiful things when they're on the street. Mm -hmm. I really respond to them. The things that I respond to are the things I carry home on my back. Um, but, you know, I think you know, once they're in an art gallery, they have a different kind of a charge. And I think, you know, it's that shift, of, shift in terms of the way of looking at things. It was a very directional show at the time. It was really like, um, uh, I'd been working, working with this kind of all-in mentality, like lots and lots of work in a space. Mm -hmm. Probably not too dissimilar to how the studio works. And um, you know that still kind of comes and goes a bit in my in my work, but um, explaining things was much more it was an attempt to like um, to have a definite idea or to be diagrammatic or mm -hmm. to have like a um, you know like um, really resolutely um, one of each kind of thing mm -hmm. so that. It, Represented a kind of thing, like a whole kind of genre. Like, can talk about sculpture with one sculpture. Mm. Yeah, I think um, I think humor goes a long way. I think uh, also humor is like uh, it's another thing. Like jokes are like diagrammatic as well. I like things that have a kind of you know they have a structure. You can play off the joke structure. Mm. Um, often my sculptures have a joke structure built in. There's like I guess you come you come to it from one angle, 
and then there's like a punchline on the other side once you get once you get around. Um, you know, sometimes it's useful to look at the world the way that you look at art, and sometimes it's useful to look at art the way you look at the world. And I think when these things kind of bleed out, mm. um, you know, that's just kind of more interesting or something. <laughs>